Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Universa. She made her first appearance in Invincible, issue number 69, that was released in December 2009. Her real name is unknown, but we do know that she's the powerful ruler of a distant world. Standing approximately 5 feet 9 inches tall, and it can be assumed that she weighs about the same weight of a female human of her size. Having blue eyes that glow white whenever she's wielding her staff, along with long white hair that she wears in a thick braid, as well as a distinctive green skin. Now, this staff that I mentioned, which is called the Staff of Leadership, seems to be the source of her powers. It's been passed down on her planet to various rulers over thousands of years, and can only be wielded by a champion that's selected by what she called the World God, with anyone else who tries to hold it getting a shocking surprise. Not only can it produce an energy blast that is powerful enough to destroy cities, it also endows Universa with vast superhuman strength, speed, and durability, giving her the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Invincible, who he himself is one of the most powerful beings in the Image Comics universe. And that's not to mention that it endows her with self-sustenance and interstellar travel. The only glaring weakness that Universa seems to have is that if you do get the staff away from her, she seems to be reduced to having the power levels of a normal human woman. Now, we don't know very much about her backstory, other than the fact that she's from a planet that's far away from Earth that's on the brink of extinction due to an extreme energy shortage. We first see her arriving on Earth as a conqueror, coming to take all of the energy from the planet to transfer it to her own. Her very first stop was to a nuclear power plant, where she had began siphoning off the power and causing massive destruction in the process. That is, until Invincible and Atom Eve arrived on the scene. She proves her mettle when she immediately knocks Mark across the room with a powerful blast from her staff. But of course the powerful young Viltrumite wasn't down for the count, with them then continuing their battle until he manages to wrangle the staff out of her grip, although it gives him such a powerful shock that it knocks him out. However, since the source of her power was then removed from her grip, Eve luckily and unknowingly knocks her out with a single punch, and Universa is then taken into custody at the infamous Stronghold Penitentiary. Cecil Stedman would have had her held there indefinitely, if it weren't for Invincible going to the penitentiary to have a very uncomfortable but necessary conversation. Their talk was aggressive at first, but then Mark revealed that he had a plan that may go over well with the authorities to let her go with him offering a solution that could possibly help save her planet. She would smartly agree to this plan and be released into his custody. Together, Universa and Invincible would then take a trip, siphoning off huge chunks of energy to store in her staff from various nuclear power plants across the country. This would only cause a few 10-minute rolling blackouts across the U.S., yet would give her a massive amount of power to take back home. However, since her planet is eight times the size of the Earth, this obviously wouldn't be enough, but it would be a good temporary start until they could find a permanent solution. Either way, Universal was very impressed at the kindness and forgiveness that Invincible offered her, and the two would part ways as friends, with her leaving the Earth after sincerely thanking Mark and promising that one day she would try to repay him for this massive good deed. Now, Due to her powers and abilities, and her influence on the Image Comics, in particular Invincible Comics Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Universa a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.